Yeah. Like logic, you don't need data. You, when it makes sense. You, you kind of do need data. That's what data is for. But the, can you da- like data make is the real math, world? Like, logic your is your logic. Can you think critical think for yourself? Why do you need something to back everything up? It's called thinking for yourself, thinking clearly. You don't need that. <laughs> Uh, you, you, did you, did you <laughs> say the things that may make a woman high status, like let's say, let's say there's a, a woman who is a heart surgeon and she saves one of my children. Mm. To me, that's a high status woman. Yeah, but I'm not attracted to her. Okay, does that make sense? Sure. So the things that make her high status and the things that make her attractive are not the same thing. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, but why does it? Why is there no from the male perspective? Why is there no attraction based on competence, based on the wisdom in the home that the, could build you up the, as a could, man? There could be, but for men, I mean, if you just felt what it's like to be a man, we sure. have 17 times as much testosterone as a woman we're just more concerned with certain features of facial symmetry signs of youth hip to waist ratio and submissiveness to a certain extent agreeableness those things i'm not saying a woman who's smart wouldn't be attractive i've dated some smart women is very attractive the problem is in comparison to how physically attractive i am to her it's just not it's three orders of magnitude more i'm calling bullshit would you rather go ahead that's that's not true because at the end of the day if you are a high status man if you see like yourself as like very valuable and high value you will not be with a woman <laughs> it's true who has yeah. no income because that's that's the chances no the income. chances that she's well, with sorry, you, you we're, we're in miami. Miami. We're miami the chances that she's with you for your income is so high you're gonna want someone who doesn't need you you're gonna want somebody who is at a financial point to where you're certain in your head that this woman is with you because she loves you as a human being and not because she's with you because of your financial status or whatever so you're going to be more attracted to the woman who has a higher income than the woman who like let's say everything else is the same more attracted to the woman who has a higher income if she's good looking and she has a higher income so she's more take. attractive you're than giving the woman the fe- you're 100 describing the female no, 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 what you literally just described is how women are attracted to men Women are attracted to men that don't need them, that have financial competence, etc. Same with men to women. Because, no, no, it's, because it's a high value true. man no. is so insecure that every woman wants go. him only for his money. And that's the only reason no, 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 she's no, no. with he him. Can be, so when he she can be has high that, value for other he reasons be, than his money. He can, yeah. I know, but yeah. when she has that, listen. he's like, all right, she's not with me just because I'm rich. Okay, so 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 listen up. I like I know I've, I've been bringing up a lot of stats, but like Dr. David Bussey does this 37 culture study, and they they study real quick a summary of it is that women are always in every one of these societies, all 37 cultures, more interested in in men acquiring resources than the other way around. It's two to one. Does that make sense? They're women more are more women are more interested. huh? They're more interested, but they're still kind of interested. Yeah, no, but they're not nearly to the same extent. And the other thing is, like, men are more interested in a woman's body count than men than women are interested in a man's body count. And this was in all thirty-seven cultures. And women should 30, be interested in a man's body count, but too. not to, not nearly to the same extent. So, like, what you're saying, I understand idealistically, may seem right to you, but there's no data to back up anything you're saying. Like, but what, it's men are literally for, logic. You don't need data you, when it makes sense. You, you kind of do need data. That's what data is for. But, but can you da- like data is the real math, world? Like logic your is head. your logic. Can you think? critical think for yourself why do you need something to back everything up it's called thinking for yourself thinking clearly you don't need that you can't think clearly without data yes you can you can make you can you can add things up in your make head it up. just make it up and, yeah and that's it just literally like feels logical real. thinking it, critical feels thinking. it feels i so I smile and writing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's I, over here taking notes like a he's like mm, college student. I feel like you are you if you yeah, because the difference is is that I'm actually listening to what you guys are saying, understanding and formulating something to actually respond to what you're saying versus you guys just like yapping. What I, I put well, it I in your book. Your I have I have so a lot of what you say is about wanting to keep like a family unit together, right? You 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 believe in the family unit. You bring in the strong male. So, so right? I, I do, but in some cases like previous societies I'm, I'm more interested in like an evolutionary psychology description of humanity than just a, a cultural one in some societies it was one man one woman in some societies we'd have a high status men with multiple women that's generally what would happen and yeah. so that's what i'm describing for the most part and so when she okay. says that most of these women these men were interested in women that made as much money I as them there's no way i can look through the anthropological record and see any evidence of that like in fact if we go back like maybe even two or three thousand years there's like zero evidence of that it's there's never a, a case where men are looking for women that make more money than them it just doesn't happen no i never said making more money but Actually, i'm saying you, that, in you, comparison, you did precisely say that if you if, like, you, like if you put a woman who has 
okay, so I think she was comparing to other let's women. Let's say as a yeah. human to being, what adds value to a human being? It's um, you know, your your experience, your memories with that person, and also how much income that person has and how free okay, they so, are. So in I, their th life. I think the the original thing you're conflating. There's personal self worth and value, and then there's set, how much people find you attractive. For men, they are the same thing. For women, they're not the same thing. They're not. But they're not like Madame Curie discovered radium, but her her husband's penis did not get harder because she won a Nobel Prize. <laughs> you he, valued you think more. You think, huh? he valued her more because you don't, of the you don't fact know that. that she actually she, she, more she died yes, horribly of cancer, did. but that's not so actually. Ladies, if you're out uh, out, that's what. Keep your money oh, no. up. Work hard Madame for Curie, yourself, bro. For you. Don't let these men think it doesn't matter because it right. does. So are we talking about all men when we say this? It's very simple in general. In general, because men are trying to play women's sports now, so times are changing. You, you, sorry, you said what? Men are trying to play playing women's sports these days, so times are changing. Yeah, because women live life on easy mode, which brings back brings me back to my point. Yeah, like but, the bottom line is this: women live life on easy mode, and their accomplishments are not as important as a man's accomplishments because a woman doesn't have to be accomplished to be attractive. So that's why I say getting advice from a woman could be valid, but their perspective isn't as valid because it's extremely limited because they don't go through the same trials and tribulations that men do. Different. So in general, most women are not in a position to dispense advice to you as a man about life. 